to Sase Konagela, a leap maths and science school. This is leap four in deep slot. And we have to get to Buza Mbuzo Gui Yona, Utole Impendulo Wizona, Yona Jale Okfunda Leo. I've got a learner next to me. Also, Buzela Mbuzo Waka Wokala Nda. Ah. Vovan. The Vazabudi. Ah, Nam Grand. Come around, Buzisa. What's it like? being a part of a school that specializes in maths and science? Well, it's quite an eye-opening experience because you get to experience things which you wouldn't experience like in those schools there. Well, here we specialize mostly in maths and science because ah. like, you know, this generation, we sort of like flee away from maths and science. Yeah, so yeah, 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 it's quite compulsory. So there's no running away from it. And then we actually setting a good example to our fellow peers in our community because if we tell them that anyone can do math and science like you don't have to be white or live in a suburb to do math yeah, and science no, anyone can do it so if we're doing it you can do it too. if they're doing it you can do it too and here's what you can do on our facebook page let's ask a question and she has a question for our teacher in the studio and my question for you is how do i determine the tangent of a parabola at a given point Wow, that's a really good question from Fu. Hey, Fu, that's the name. It's, um, please explain to me how to determine the equation of a tangent to a parabola at, at a point. Now, we're going to get a little bit serious with um, education here. Get your pens out, guys, and let's do some calculus, and let's find the equation of a tangent to a parabola. Now, remember, Moby School goes into this in a lot more detail. I'm just going to give you a few starters, and you know, a bit of nice, juicy starters, and then you get into the Moby School, and you can then get a lot on tangents to curves. Very important for matric. Okay, so let's, Glezanati, take you through getting the equation of a tangent to a parabola. Well, the most important thing that you need to write down, guys, is the gradient of a tangent to a curve at a point is the derivative at that point. Remember, when you differentiate, when you get the gradient, that is the gradient of the tangent to a curve. Okay, and the equation is given by this equation, if you remember it, y minus y1 is mx minus x1, where x1, y1 is, is the point of tangency. That's a funny name. Very simply put, it's where the tangent line touches the parabola at one point. Now, don't panic. We're going to do an example of this. And then at Moby School, we go into a lot more detail. And then the gradient at that point the derivative these are a lot of words you've done it at school but remember if you if i'm if this is a mystery to you guys what are we going to do we're going to go to moby school and we're going to rock and roll there because we take it further here's an example let's write this down here's a parabola fx is minus 2x squared plus 8x a sad parabola a very sad one we want to sketch the graph of the parabola first so we can see what it's all about. And then we're going to find the equation of the tangent at a point. And this is it. So you've got to listen here. Write this down. Sketch the graph of this parabola. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to find the equation of a tangent to that parabola at x equals 3. And then we'll do c in a moment. Here we go. Okay, you ready, Addo and company? Are we going to do some serious calculus, boys? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Hey, yeah, we're not going to do transactional sex. We're going to be doing serious Galeza Nati stuff. And if your teachers are out there doing that to you, leave that school and go to teachers that teach mathematics. Yes. The tangent to the curve. Amen. Do you agree? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm very passionate about this. Here we go. Are you ready? Number A, X intercepts. What do we do? We let y be equal to naught. Remember that, guys? Y equals naught. And then divide everybody by negative 2. And then we can take out a common factor. All of this is on Moby School. Then you have your x-intercepts. X is naught and x is 4. And then what's the y-intercept? Well, we let x be equal to naught. So I'm going fairly quickly through this. And y is equal to naught. And that makes sense because your x and your y intercept is naught and cuts it for. And then remember, what do we have here? We have a turning point where your gradient is a zero. I love it. Here we go. Turning point, get the derivative. Remember, bring down the 2. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 plus 8. You with me, guys? Remember yes. the derivatives? Yeah, boy. Sure. Okay. <laughs> then at the, at the turning point, the gradient is naught and then you put it equal to naught and solve for x okay and then x is equal to 2 and remember 
you've got a turning point. So how do we get the corresponding y value? By substituting x in. So here we go, f of two into your original, plug it in, and you then get f of two is eight. Okay, so there's your turning point. So if we quickly draw this, it's all on Moby School this. There's your x and y intercept, your turning point. And what we wanna do is we wanna get the equation of the tangent at this point here. Now have a look at that. If we go x is three, we want the equation of the tangent at x is three. So that's the x value. We also need to get the y value. We want, and how do we get that? You remember guys, it's the f of three that we need to get. We need to work out the f of three at x is three. And we also need the gradient of the tangent, which is really the gradient at x is equal to three, the gradient of three. And for that x value, we need f of three, which is the y value. So how do we do that? Let's have a look. Okay, so if we get the y value is the f of three, substitute it in there. Minus two times three squared plus eight times three gives you six. That is your y value corresponding to x is three. Now remember, we've got the gradient already. We've got that expression. So we want the gradient at three. So we plug it in there. In we go, into the gradient. So what do we have? We've got a very, if we simply look at this, what have we got here? I'm going to go, Felt, I'm just gonna have a look at this. The gradient is going to be negative four, three, and you've got the point x is three, y is six. Do you remember that, eh, guys? x1, y1, and that's your gradient. And when you've got that, you can, of course, easily work out the equation of the tangent. Here we go. All right. There's your formula, and what do you remember? We've, if we go and have a look at that carefully, we've got our x value, which is three, the y value six, and the gradient is negative four. Okay, so let's plug it in there, and let's get and see what we get. All right, so in we go. There's your y value there, the y of t, x of t, and then your gradient is negative four. You with me? Moving quickly, remember Moby School goes into a lot more detail. This is just whetting your appetite. Okay, here we go. Y minus six is net, multiply this out, and guess what we have? Y is equal to negative four X plus 18. All right, so that's very, very important there. That is your equation of your tangent. If you have a look at that there, just clean up this thing a bit here so you can see, and what do you know um, at this point here? You can clearly see um, that you've got the gradient at negative four there, here's your equation of the tangent. And remember, the equation of the tangent at the turning point is going to be, if you look at that, at that turning point, it levels out and the equation of the tangent is gonna be y equals eight. Okay, that horizontal line. Sase Konala Elib Math and Science School in Deep Slot Midrand. I'm chauffeur driven <laughs> by my main man la to the next learner or pet umbos of our teacher in the studio. So Sabona is a Hello. Ukrand. Ukrand. Ubaaraba. My name is Kihomudita Marupeng. Kihomudita Marupeng Usugagupi. I am from I live here in Deep Sud, but I'm from Northwest Christiana. Gupi? Christiana. Christiana Bukoni Bupiri, Mashalat Mamen Jab. So what is your learner question for our teacher in the studio today? Please explain to me how to determine the equation of a tangent to a cubic graph at a given point. Yeah, well, that's a brilliant question as well. We did a parabola last time. The same principles happen with a cubic graph. Now, let's have a look at this, an example. Determine the equation of this cubic graph at x equals minus 2. So what are the principles? We need the x, the y, where the tangent cuts the graph, as well as the gradient, which is the derivative. Okay, let's do it. So the gradient of the tangent can be determined as follows. Get the derivative. Okay, f prime x, bring that 3 down and subtract 1 from the 3 there, 6x squared minus 6 minus 0. And what do we know? The gradient of the tangent at minus 2, substitute it in there and you've got 6 times the, the negative four, two all squared is, is gonna be six times four is 24, minus six is 18. That's the gradient of the tangent, hold on to that. All right, the y value corresponding to the given x value, well, we go to the original, and you substitute the minus two into the original, okay. All right, giving you your y value there, which is negative eight. So remember, if you look at this carefully, let me just go to get a, a graph, if this is your cubic here, watch this. 
Then we're going to go and we're going to choose a color. Let's go to blue. If you look, there's your cubic graph. Remember, at that point, you've got a tangent. You want the gradients of the tangent. And also, you've got an x value, which is negative 2 and a y value. Those are the critical things that you need when you work this out. So here we go. Now we can go in and we can say the equation of the tangent, y minus y1 is mx minus x1, and you plug in, there's your x value minus 2, your y is negative 8, and you go through it, and you've got the gradient is 18, and off you go. You can then multiply this out, and multiply that out there, and what do we have? We've got 18x plus 36, and you bring the 8 across, and there you've got it there. So remember carefully, whenever you've got the cubic graph, let's just do it again. What did we have there? I'm just going to get a nice little color here. You've got the cubic graph, and you've got to have the x1, the y1, and the gradient of that tangent to be able to do that. Okay, so people, watch out at Moby School. We go into this in a lot of detail. The gradient of the tangent is the gradient of the curve. The gradient of the tangent is the gradient of the curve. Sounds like me doing Jay-Z, doing <laughs> calculus, honey. Yeah, gradient of tangent is gradient of curve. Yeah, you got it. You got it, Mzanzi. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's... <laughs>